In the run-up to uh, the initial invasion of the Iraq War in 2003, we decided, you know, how do we promote fuel efficiency, energy independence, uh, fighting global warming without having to say anything? And the best opportunity we felt was by getting celebrities to go to the Oscars in fuel-efficient alternative fuel vehicle cars. And so. Uh, March 3rd, we have our annual pre-Oscars party. It's a great event that sort of kicks off the Oscars week with the green message and takes advantage of all the, the, the stars and the spotlight by showing that Hollywood cares about the environment, but really getting a message out to the rest of the world that we need to do something about global warming. I'm excited to be standing in front of, of this car behind me. It's been a long time coming. The public will have a chance to see the Volt uh, out by the green carpet. This, is, this, this car is the answer to the naysayers of the, of the electric vehicle. You can drive it around town without ever having to charge it for 40 miles, which is farther than most people commute. And then you, you've got the gas uh, engine uh, as a generator that's going to make sure if you're going on a longer trip, you can have a long range. So I, I think it's a, it's a smart, elegant solution. You know, now we've got a, a car that, that uh, shows the leadership that General Motor can provide as the, the icon that it is and um, important part of our corporate and industrial legacy of this nation to, to create a car that's part of the future and 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 integrate the best of what they they learn from the EV1 but sort of make up for at least a little bit of, of you know ending that great car and then creating one that's uh, even more viable for our for most of America